Let's take a look. This this is a piece where don't feel bad if you're confused because I'm confused too. But this is him <laughs> trying to uh, trying to talk about how he was framed. Um, and oh, again, yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's take a mm -hmm. look. When Mr. German was murdered, um, a couple of things happened. Um, one, the the new public administrator did not did not finish acting on any of the investigation in Rajiv Abdul. Um, there's, there's been no activity. Um, so any of the investigating that I was going to do is not being done at this point. And the complaint I made with the Nevada Real Estate Division, um, I got documentation that it closed in November of, of 2022. Um, and so, you know, I believe that this was, I mean, it'd be quite a coincidence if, you know, the, the fact that Mr. Irwin was killed and was put on me, that, that they just had a serendipitous benefit from that, that all these things that were coming to a head for them, just, it's done. No repercussions, no nothing. Follow any of that? I got no idea what he said, and he doesn't either. That's the thing. He doesn't either. Yeah. He's grasping at words, trying to look compelling with the words he's throwing out there. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I know we, we've seen on both sides in politics these days. This is the epitome of word salad. This guy is a yeah. word salad. Very I much. I can't understand. I have no idea what the hell he's saying. No, I mean, I, I from what I, I'm gathering, and I'm, I could be wrong. Someone could be like, no, it's this. I don't think, I think it's up for debate to anybody. Is is something to the effect of because he wasn't reelected and he couldn't keep doing his job, so he wasn't the savior over there doing all that. It made sense for what the insurance company to put a hit out on the reporter, so and then frame. Him. <laughs> it's like, wh wh where are we going with this? So, so he, here's a fun little experiment we can do with this one, Tony. Yeah, let's look at just a couple cases that we've covered over our, our, our years together now, right? Yeah. So, because we're going to see how simple to understand these motivations are, and then we'll see how simple to understand this one is. So, we've covered probably two or three murder for hires. Mm -hmm. These murder for hire cases involve kids, custody battle, someone's angry, someone hires someone to kill someone. Okay. Lori Daybell Vallow and Chad. Mm -hmm. Money, sex, Kids in the way. Yep. All right. We have um we have uh poor little Melissa Soto. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, kid Madeline Soto. Yeah. Ma Madeline Soto, Maddie Soto. You know, we have kid, maybe sex trafficking, pedophile, mm -hmm. kill. Yep. Um, but you see the pattern here. Every single case, it's pretty clear that we have a motivation of either sex, revenge. Um, and what's the other one? Um, power. You know, power, philosophy, all these motivations. And then when you're looking at this, look how complicated he's trying to make this. Mm -hmm. But if you look at just him, power, control, retribution. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but then he's trying to spin it away from that simple explanation as to why it's not. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and he, the, the way that Robert Tellis, you know, allegedly handled this really was not that complicated. He <laughs> and very stupid as well. Uh, yep. You know, he he dresses up in the most like god awful outfit one would wear to commit a murder. It, it just draws attention. I mean, if you're a I narcissist, you want attention, and he that, that clearly didn't even like stop him in murder. I mean, murderers would usually try to you know wear black or something that's inconspicuous. He wears blaze orange. Like what hunters wear, yeah. and a giant hat, and the Nikes, the cheap Nikes that everyone knows him from wearing. He has a specific walk to himself uh, at his gate, and 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 the evidence is all in his house. Yeah. So and, this is what we. This is what what I technically call his first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. You know, this this is someone who is on a behavior pattern of bullying. I mean, mm -hmm. you even heard in the in the courtroom. He's used. He's trying to be soft. As a bully, he's trying to bully everyone into believing his mm -hmm. his line of, of crap. Yeah. Um. 
and again, I'm not presumed innocent until proven guilty, but you know, what he's spewing doesn't make sense. No. And, and, but his, so I think there was obviously there was a triggering moment. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of a, a massive premeditation for whoever's in the video. That's a good way to put for whoever's yeah. in that video and wherever this evidence lies, whoever gets pegged on, not a lot of super premeditation because anyone with three marbles rolling around upstairs would do better. If Co in the Koberger case, regardless if it's him or not, that was a little bit better planned out than this. <laughs> yes. Yes. And that was crap. Yeah. That uh, yeah, you're exactly right. Let's take a look at some of his testimony. This is him talking about his finger injury and because he says it it must be true. Let's take a look. While I was you know, being self-represented, I, I attempted to seek these surveillance videos that included the video of me washing my car, or videos of me washing my cars. Um, the, the judge granted the, pro the production of that. However, I, I never received the videos. Um, and the production was oh, okay, so I... I the motion is granted. Um, I believe the video show that I didn't have the finger injury. Um, if you think about it, if, if somebody has a ser serious finger injury, um, would they be washing? Objection argument. I mean, I would not be washing. Testify about your own experience. Sure. Oh, sure, sure. I, I, I believe I would not be washing my three vehicles if I had a serious finger injury. And as you've probably already gathered, you're going to hear about the fact that I was the, at the gym at around noon. And I believe I would not be working out with a serious finger injury. I believe I wouldn't be. Not I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I he's, believe I he's wouldn't using be. Word, so he's using word modifiers on his own behavior. <laughs> Just, I, and he has three cars. You turn him off? He's three horrible. Cars. Yeah, and not the car. He had to correct the cars. And then at the end, he had quantified it as well, his three cars. He was washing his three cars. And 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 hearing all the objectives, objections coming in and the judge coming in, all it sounds like to me is, is boy, I, I, I don't like being this flippant with it, but it sounds like they keep saying, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. Try again, try again, try again, try again. <laughs> and he's not listening. No, no, he's not capable. Here he is. Uh, and, and he's making it sound like it's there. You can see, you can hear his victimization in his own mind. I'm a victim. Oh, yeah. I'm a victim. Oh, not, they're not the person that died. I'm the victim here. And I believe he thinks he is a victim. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.